Hi, my name is Doria Robinson. I am the executive director of Urban Tilth. We're right across the bay in Richmond, California. Um, we have been working for the last 10 years in my hometown of Richmond to transform the food system. Over the last 10 years, we've employed over 19 youth and community members to start seven different school and community gardens and now a small farm with the Contra Costa County in, in, uh, in Richmond, in North Richmond, California. Our vision is that we need to tackle the access problem. Over 10 years, we have ignited people. They want to eat healthy foods, and in Richmond, there is no place to get it. We want to revolutionize our system by creating a local food system, a regionally local food system that makes it possible to get fresh, healthy food right in our community. And we want to start with the North Richmond Farm. So in our community, where we get food looks like that. 230 convenience stores. That's our choice. One grocery store, 230,000 people. We want to create a place, an anchor, where healthy food is the norm, where people come, they work there, they run the farm, they run the farm stand, they run the healthy food cafe, they run the food incubator commercial kitchen business center, <laughs> so that we can actually be on the forefront of our own change. We don't want this anymore. We want to actually look at the inventory that we have in those 230 convenience stores and begin to create the back end that we need to take over those stores and transform them with relationships with local small farmers to actually make those healthy corner stores. What is that resource revolution in creating a regionally local food system. Agriculture, industrial agriculture, creates 19 to 21% of carbon emissions in the world. We have these exceedingly long uh, supply chains. Supply chains that do a great job of creating massive amounts of food, but getting those food to individual people, it doesn't really do that job very well. And it creates an enormous amount of waste throughout the system. We want to shorten supply chains, create direct relationships between urban and rural, far and rural farmers and people, <laughs> and make it so that people have a direct relationship with their food, i.e., they can come out of their hood, their house, walk down the street to the urban farm, and actually have a you-pick-a-day. They can pick their food fresh. They know that the farmers who have much larger land will be there on certain days of the week, and they'll be dropping off you know, food for the farm stand, food for the cafe. We started with such small, small projects and grew these projects to a point where we are ready. So over the last three years, we've negotiated a 30-year lease with Contra Costa County on three acres of land for $500 a year and about a million dollars in seed money to start this farm. That money is enough money to get us all of the utilities, but now we need to get above ground. We need to make this farm stand. We need to begin serving our community. So we're in this really amazing moment. 10 years, thousands of volunteers, tons of political support, seven years of training youth apprentices throughout Richmond, 40 youth a year, to do agricultural work and now beginning relationships with farmers out in East County and in other parts of, 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 of uh, Alameda County. And now we need a place to root down and actually create this hub of activity to grow out the food system that we need. This is the small farm stand that we run now. <laughs> In one year, we served over 500 uh, people uh, just informally coming once a week for two hours a day outside of a local cafe, and we do pop-ups at local schools. We believe this farm will serve over 78,000 pounds of produce. We'll be able to scale up our CSA, and we'll be able to do it by employing local people from Richmond 
to do this work. It will transform their lives like nothing else. We already want to eat the food, but now we want to participate and lead in the change. This is the farm. <laughs> we actually have a landscape architect on board. This is the design for the farm. The design is almost done. We're going through CEQA. We are there. The table is set. We need to get above ground. We need to begin actually incubating, actually bringing this vision to life, run by local people, for local people, feeding local people, creating relationships between our urban friends in the Brentwood and in other places. We can do this, and we need your help to make it real. That's what I have to offer tonight. Um, so, a couple questions. Anybody? Over there. So, is the CEQA report perhaps going to slow things down, or...? Perhaps stop no, it, or is this a done actually, deal? actually, we are so lucky to have a powerful partner in the Contra Costa County. Like, actually, Supervisor John Joya helped us write our lease for a 30-year lease. Um, and now all of the departments in Contra Costa County have actually been helping us through CEQA, and parts of them are actually completing the CEQA process for us. So we believe we'll be done in two months. Anybody else? I can't really. It's hard to see him. So if I'm not seeing you, there you go. Uh, that was very inspiring. Um, you talked a lot about the supply. Do you have statistics or anecdotes about the demand in the community? I mean, I, I go to those places and just get takeout all the time, right. but I assume that there's demand in the community, so I'm wondering if you can speak to that. Right. So I only have anecdotal uh, kind of, I don't really have statistics, but what I can tell you is that everything we, every time we do our farm stand, whether it be in North Richmond, which is one of the poorest places in the city, or whether it be at Catahoula, which is more upscale near the hills, we sell out within an hour. People ask us, people post up, there are people, you know, regular everyday families, you know, tomato plants, they want to buy plants, they want to buy food. They, I strongly believe, without having the studies at hand, that this community is hungry for change. They're hungry to be healthier. We don't, we're tired of, of diabetes and heart disease and, and whatnot, and we want better for our, for our kids. So that's all I have.